that's about it, it's a bit dark in America. Uh, yeah, uh, a vlog, um, reading the paper this morning, do you? I like to read the paper, just basically to see how far behind reality. When you're, when you're on YouTube or whatever, you know, you, you know how YouTube and, and f or Google and Facebook work and whatever, but, um, and the ad dollars and all that, yeah. Um, then you see in the paper, yeah, that councils are spending millions of pounds trying to deal with homelessness. The reason why van life exists is because people have actually found a way of living for free. Buying an old van, putting some soda on the top, using this, that big ball in the sky, yeah, or wind, and living a very, very simplistic, minimalistic way of life. Uh, not spending much because I haven't got much food. Being, um, or even like frugal. Just living a debt free life. On not a lot of money, having a better work-life balance, and the whole thing, <coughs> and it's affecting the high street because people aren't spending as much, and what they do spend, they're going to spend on Amazon, which is next to nothing, and it's going to have a massive, major impact on the economy just generally. I, I just can't see it, how it can't. Um, always like uh, and, and the high street. Years ago, you could probably charge a few quid for uh, decent rent because. The high street could say, we have the footfall, we have lots of people coming through the high street, and they are going to buy in your shops. That's no longer the case. People just go on Amazon, wherever they are, and that's it, and they buy it, it's there, and say it the same day. <laughs> that, that's not going, that's not going away either. Um, so, but for councils, instead of actually spending millions of pounds, millions of pounds, as it says in the paper, that, um, uh, battery lights just come on. Lovely. Instead of spending millions of pounds trying to deal with homelessness, it'd be cheaper. Instead of sending your, your ex fans about three or four years, when, when you when the ex lease or ex lease or when you knew, when when the, the like council vans are being renewed, instead of selling them, just get you got skilled tradespeople. Get the thing fitted out for someone to live in, and that is a, that instead of actually paying them. Oh, we need new homes. You can't get a new house for about less than 150 grand or whatever it is. Which is like, um, if you think like that, so, so, so let's just say for example, a new house is 150 grand. In, in obviously in like in the UK, you probably get you probably be looking about about 100, 150. You wouldn't be able to get anything less less, less than that. I wouldn't have thought in, in the UK, new house. Um, so that's 150 grand. Let's just say a, a, an ex-council van goes for about. Five, six grand, eight grand in auction, right? Say seven and a half grand for argument's sake. So effectively, a new house costs hundred and fifty grand minimum, and some you're getting two, three, four, five hundred thousand pound houses new. Uh, but let's just say a basic, ba basic cheap house, hundred fifty grand. You're then talking hundred and fifty times ten. So uh, fifth. Uh, 150 divided by 10 is 15. So you, get, you you could buy 20, you could buy 20 ex council vans from auction for 150 grand, which is the price of a house. And you could put up 20 people, homeless people, in a vehicle that's got solar on the top, three or 400 watt of solar on the top, so they can power for free with no bills. Uh, and they can cook. They got a bed. Oh, we haven't got. They haven't got a living room. In a rented house, you haven't got a living room because that's made a bedroom. So all that, all that argument's gone. Showers. You can have a shower in the back of a van now. You can have power. There's nothing you can't have in the back of a van. You can have a washing machine if you want to. It's working fully. Twenty four. Uh, two forty volt. Two thirty volt. Whatever it is. In the back of a van. Easy. Yeah. There's nothing you can't have. You can have a wind turbine on the size of Tesco's ones. Those big ones. Yeah. In the back of a van. Will it, the van life is here. Living in a car is here. It isn't going away this century or next. Because people have found a way of not paying landlords 500, 600, 700 quid a month of their money. Just to exist. And they're now creating a better lifestyle for themselves. And it's a YouTube, it's a YouTube lifestyle. People making vlogs for ad dollars. That's it. And the final part of the jigsaw is just someone like YouTube or Google or Facebook just buying up land and just saying, 
you want a thousand acres of your land, we'll pay you a billion. Bang. And they'll say yes. And that, that, then that just completes, and that takes people out of who can't afford to live and pay rent, and they can just put, put their own little vehicle anywhere on, on an acre and just park up, and that's their life. And they can just use energy, a bit of, buy a bit of water, like you buy about five litres for about £1.50 or something. That's nothing, is it? Shower facilities is free. And Google, Google could actually, or new Facebook could actually do that and recoup the costs from the ad dollars produced from the vlogs made by the people on it. But that's where we are now. All this, like, spending millions of pounds on sort of how they can't sort of homelessness out. YouTube could do it, well, they could do it within a week if they wanted to. Just buy a bit of land and, and sort it. And then, they, then YouTube would actually <coughs> um, adhere to all the regs, rules, laws, and all that rubbish, yeah, uh, on behalf of the people that live on the land. At the moment, people are living like that way of life have to deal with that themselves, but YouTube could actually do that themselves, they're a legal team, and just allow people, and we should sort homelessness out, homelessness out straight away, instantly. Amazon could do it quite quickly. Amazon could actually quite like, just like Walmart, Walmart do in the States, they let people stay on their land, on their supermarket car parks, overnight for free. Simple. That's how it's done. A UK supermarket should start doing that quite quickly. And when they do, all of them will. And that sorts out homelessness. Living in vans, buying cheap groceries, getting free parking overnight. Simple. Councils could do it. But they charge, like to charge money for car parking. <laughs> They've just taken a billion off people last year. And it's really getting nearer too. And that's homelessness sorted out for you.